This lesson deals with supplemental problem 4.3. You can find this problem in the ECE 201 ebook in the chapter 4 supplemental problems on page 3. Given the circuit, which contains two independent voltage sources, two resistances, and two controlled sources, can you solve for the voltage V1 and the current I1? Let's again label everything we can on the schematic, and we'll try to solve for V1 and I1. I know the voltage across the 4 ohm resistor is V1, so the current that's going to flow is V1 divided by 4, and that's going to flow in every element in this series combination. So the drop across the 8 ohm resistor then will be 8 times V1 over 4, which is 2V1. So I have either constant voltages here, or I have something that's a multiple of V1. Last thing I have here is something in terms of I1. This is a current controlled voltage source. But I know that I1 is V1 over 4. So I plug that in here and get 10 divided by 4 times V1, or divide numerator and denominator by 2 and get 5 halves. Now I know everything in this circuit around this loop as a function of either a constant or V1. So let's just start here and we go around the loop clockwise. So the rise in voltage is rise in voltage of 3 V1, and then a rise in voltage of 5 halves V1, which is 2 and a half. So that's my rises on the left hand side of the equation. The drops are 2 V1, V1, and 8. That's on this side of the equation. So I could bring the 8 over here, and that would give me 4. I'll put that over here. And then we'll put this stuff on the other side of the equation. So I've got 3V1, and then I'm going to subtract, on this side of the equation, a 5.5V1. And that's going to give me minus 2.5V1. So V1 is equal to minus 1.6 volts. Now we found that the current I1 was V1 over 4, and V1 is 1.6 volts. And so dividing that by 4, I get a minus 0.4. And of course, I want to put all my answers in engineering notation with units. And Move the decimal place over three places. So this will be a minus 400 milliamps. And this is supplemental problem 4.3.